now let's read daniel chapter 6 verse 7 daniel chapter 6 verse 7 we read like this when daniel was in the kingdom the darius the persian king was uh, is in fact supposed to be helping um helping daniel we read like this all the presidents of the kingdom all the presidents the of the kingdom the prefects and the satraps the prefects and the, the councillors and the governors the councillors and the governors are agreed are agreed that the king should establish that the king should establish an ordinance an ordinance and enforce and enforce an interdict an interdict that whoever prays to anyone that whoever prays to anyone divine or human divine or human for 30 days for 30 days except to you except to you or king or king shall be thrown into a den of lions shall be thrown into a den of lions in fact this message was intended only to destroy jewish people because jewish people cannot worship any other god other than yahweh all the other groups of people who are existing at that time do not mind worshiping any god because they themselves have hundreds of gods pagan gods therefore for them to worship the human body human being the king is not a great thing but they know that jewish people will never worship any other god other than yahweh therefore this decree was decreed only to destroy and eliminate all the jewish people when this decree was decreed what did daniel do verse 10 we read like this verse 10 as soon as he heard this message although although daniel knew daniel knew that the document had been signed that the document had been signed he continued to go to his house he continued to go to his which house he, which had windows in its upper room which had windows in its upper open room open toward jerusalem open toward jerusalem and to get down on his knees and to get down on his knees three times a day three times a day to pray to his god to pray to his god and praise him and praise him just as he had done previously just as he had done previously my brothers and sisters in his old age daniel was by then is very old but still he was not ready to compromise with his faith the moment he came to know the whole israel the whole jewish community is going to be eliminated annihilated the moment he came to know the danger he knelt down and as usually he knelt down and cried to the heavenly father he didn't go asking for help he didn't run after people he knelt down asking god to intervene and help him and the lord blessed him the lord protected all of them and the lord intervene in the life of israel this is what is going to happen anyone who is experiencing a life threatening uh, situation and crisis in your family the moment it happens in your family do not run after anyone do not be panicked but just kneel down and lift up your hands and worship god you will see the miracles in your life praise the lord